Hi, welcome to another episode of MedNature with Dr. B. I'm Dr. B, and today we're going to be talking on breast examination. So I'm going to be talking to you also about inspection, palpation, and some special tests you do when it comes to breast examination. Now, while we go into it, there's some important things, especially when it comes to professionalism, you need to look into. You come in, you greet your patient, you ask for your patient's name, then you dive into the examination, explain to the patient what you're about to do, number one. Number two, you invite in the chaperone who is going to be there while you do the examination. Then the next thing you also do is don't forget to drape your patient. Now because I'm going to be using the mannequin in this setting, I'm going to be draping the mannequin. Okay, let's dive into it. Good afternoon, my name is Dr. B. What's your name? Alice Smith. Okay, oh, please, how would you like me to address you? Alice is fine. Okay, thank you, Alice. All right, so my chaperone is sitting over there, which can be anybody who works in the hospital or if it's an exam setting, you just need to mention it. All right, so we're going with the first thing, which is inspection of the purse. Okay, so diving into inspection, we're going to be using the mannequin for most of the examination. But right here, you're going to be seeing different positioning you have to do when it comes to inspection. So we have four. The first one is the hands by the side. Thank you that you see right there, your hands by the side. Now what do you do? That's the first one. You inspect for the skin of the breast. You also inspect for contour. You inspect for symmetry, no sign of asymmetry. You inspect for retraction of the skin also on the breast. Also, you inspect for any form visible masses and the legs. Now, the second one is hand over the head. Thank you. So, right there also, while the angle is over the head, you repeat the same inspection, but there's something very important you should check for right there, in addition to other things, dimpling. And you check for what? Retraction of the nipples and retraction of the skin of the breast. Then we have the third one, which is hand on the hips. Good. Now that's the third one. While checking for this, you do the same examination. So you are checking for bruises, you're checking for asymmetry, you're checking for contour, all this, basically. And the fourth position, which is um, the hands out and leaning forward. So, okay, with this position, you are checking for gravitational pull on the skin of the breast, and you're also checking for retraction of the nipple, which is very specific and very important for this position. Okay, thank you. Okay, after this, now we'll move into palpation, which I'll be doing on my mannequin here, and we have to measure the vertical strip pattern and we also have the circular or the parallel strip pattern so let's go ahead with the vertical strip pattern so for the vertical strip pattern we're going to be looking at two measures basically the lateral view and from the medial view so why put in the lateral view the patient's hand needs to be on the forehead okay and now you start palpating in the zigzag version from the axilla region here and you go this way you're using three of your fingers second third and fourth the part of your fingers and you go this way in a concentric pattern watch me small concentric pattern now you're palpating light medium and deep palpation what will be your light medium and deep palpation before the light will be for pain, medium, also for tenderness, but when you are getting deeper, you're checking for masses, lumps, gerba. So when you get to the nipple, you stop. And we do from the nipple to the medial here. Okay. Now, when you're preparing for the medial side, you're starting from the nipple to literally the sternal area. Now, what you, you should notice is you're palpating basically from the clavicular area to the brow line. Now, note this, 
the patient's hand needs to be on the neck in this situation. All right. So, and the same way, the vertical treatment of the continuum. You see the way I'm doing the concentric, small concentric palpation. There you go. The same light, medium, and deep palpations, basically. And with that, you're done. Now, the next thing you do is the second method, which is the parallel or the circular method. Now, this method you're palpating from in outward, so from the nipple outward. Now, let's go. The same method using three of the fingers, second, third, and fourth the part of his fingers. Small concentric measures. All right, so you just place your patient and good. Let's go. All right, so you see light to medium to deep light to medium to deep, light to medium to deep, same, 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 all the way down to the axle. And with that, you're done. And there are very important things we also need to pop here. First of all, we need to palpate for lumps. Okay, so why palpating either in the vertical strip pattern or the circular or parallel strip pattern? If you notice any lump, you have to ask the specific questions and check for these specific things. The first thing is location. So based on the four quadrants of the breast, you're looking at superior, lateral, superior medial, inferior lateral, inferior medial. Those are the four quadrants. The next thing you have to access the size, the size of the lump in centimeters. The next thing you check for is shape. Is it round or is cystic? You also check for consistency. Is it hard? Is it soft? Then you check for mobility. Now, basically, you first of all move the skin of the breast. Then you also try and move the what? The lump. Checking for mobility. Then also you check for delimitation. Basically, is it well circumscribed? Now, you also check for tenderness. If you notice we're checking for light, medium, and deep palpation, I was palpating. On light palpation, you're checking for tenderness. But that lumps with skin, you check around there if there's any for tenderness. So we checked for the location of the lump. We checked for the size. We checked for the shape. We checked for consistency. We checked for delimitation, we checked for um, tenderness, and we checked for mobility. Now I'm going to move on to the nipple and areola. Now, for the nipple and areola, one of the things you check out for, first of all, in the nipple is, is there any form of retraction, or is the nipple inverted? So going inwards. And you also check for the areola. You pop it. Now, then, you slowly squeeze the nipples to see if there's any form of discharge because it's specific type of discharge also tell you the specific diagnosis which we'll cover in another tutorial all right so now we're done with the nipple and the areola the next thing we check for are the lymph nodes at the neck region so you check for your cervical lymph nodes how do you have you check for so you first of all locate your clavicle and you check for your supraclavicular lymph nodes and the infraclavicular lymph nodes. When you are done with that, the next thing to actually check for is the axilla region. So we're checking for lymph nodes there and for Marcy's nodules and lights. Okay, so in this situation, you just assist your patient. You lift your hands like this and you go in. The same way, the same way you're palpating. And you palpate the axilla region.
and with that you're done with your breast examination okay while you're done explain to the patient that after doing this breast examination i observe no abnormalities thank you for seeing me today and do you have any questions no i don't okay thank you very much you. and with that you're done now thank you for watching this video please don't forget to subscribe share like comment <laughs> and hope to see you at the next episode bye then the fourth one we have is and i'm just slowing down <laughs>